Welcome to video number 59 in the Using iTrain tutorial series. In this tutorial, we use an aspect in an action that counts the number of times a train enters a block. Welcome back. As we saw in the last tutorial, an aspect is a general accessory able to switch between 32 different states. The general nature of the aspect sometimes means that connecting to and setting up a real physical aspect device for a model railway can be a little daunting. There are many different types and styles of aspects, each with different capabilities. So quite often questions arise such as how should the device be connected? How does iTrain communicate with it? And what settings do I need to use? All very relevant questions, which we will cover to some extent in subsequent tutorials when we look at using a real physical aspect. But there is no substitute to first referring to the manufacturer's instructions. However, to begin with, we are going to keep things simple and create an aspect as a virtual device, a device that exists in software only. This will allow us to use an aspect in an action without needing to worry about things like the type of interface we need to use, or how it is addressed, or how to make the physical connections to it. The aspect will exist in software only, but still allow us to use it effectively in an action. Back in video number 25, we looked at the action feature that is available within a train route. You may recall that in a train route, we can set up actions when a train enters a particular block or whilst it is waiting in a particular block block or before it departs from a particular block. And in that tutorial we briefly mentioned a technique of using aspects to create a kind of counter, such as counting the times that a particular train enters a block and we can use that count to then trigger an action. But that method of using the action feature that is contained within a train route will obviously only execute when running a train route. In this tutorial we will use a standalone action that will operate with any kind of route, including automatic routing without a route, or whilst operating a train manually. We will use a virtual aspect to count the number of times a particular train enters a particular block. When the count 
reaches a specific number, it will then trigger the execution of commands that will make a different train automatically start a train route. OK, so to begin with, we first need to create the aspect graphical element on the switchboard and then define its properties. So we open the switchboard editor, select the location where we want to place the aspect, then select it from the menu on the right here and press the spacebar to place it. Double click on it to open its properties and now we are defining the control object, the thing that describes the item to iTrain. And as usual, the first thing we always need to do is to give it a name. And it's good practice to keep the name simple. It makes it quicker for iTrain to find the name and it is also easier for other people to find the item on the layout when someone is helping us to find a problem. So I will give it the name A01. So A for aspect and 01 because it is the first aspect on the layout. And we can use the optional description field to add more detail if needed. This field isn't used by iTrain, it is just for our benefit. Here we can set the initial state of the aspect, so any of the 32 states. Now an accessory will only be set or activated using the initial state the first time it is used, or afterwards only when iTrain thinks it does not have the correct state. The initial state does not mean that this is the state that the accessory will be set to when the file, the layout file, is first opened or whenever a connection is established to the layout. The accessory will be set to its last known state, not the initial state. So it's really only used by iTrain whenever it's unsure about the state of the aspect or when a system reset has been performed. OK, so now because this is going to be a virtual device, a virtual aspect that exists in software only, we don't need to fill in any of these two sections here. We don't need to define an interface because we don't have a real physical aspect to connect to. And we don't need an address because again there is no physical device on the layout iTrain just needs the name, which we have defined in the control object, so A01 in this case. All we need to do now to use this as a virtual device is to select the states to enable the states that we want the aspect to be able to display. By default, the states are called Aspect 0 to Aspect 31. 
So an aspect has states that are called aspects, which may seem a little confusing, at least it does to me. However, we can rename each aspect by double clicking on it, if we wish, and give it a name that is perhaps easier to remember based on the purpose of each state. OK, so currently only aspect 0 is enabled. So if we saved the control object now by clicking OK, we see that the aspect appears here over in the directory. And when we press apply and save and OK to exit, we see that on the switchboard we have the aspect and it is displaying the state 0. But if I click on it to increment the number, nothing happens. Because in the state mapping, we only have state 0 enabled. We can quickly edit that by right clicking on it and then selecting properties and then selecting the states that we want to have enabled so that they display either all 32 states or just a few of them. I could select 0, 1, 2, 5, 7 for example. Press OK to save it. Now when I click on the aspect it cycles through 1, 2, 5, 7 and then goes back to 0 and repeats again. If I hold down the shift button and left click it cycles back the other way. I can also select a state by long left clicking on it and then the states appear in this menu. I've also found that it's possible to cycle beyond the enabled states by holding down the ALT key and left clicking. So holding the ALT, left click and we see we can actually select any of the 32 states here. Why you would use that I'm not sure but now once you select it, once you click on it again it reverts back to the enabled states. In the action example that I will be creating we just need it to count to three. So I will enable by going to the properties just 0 to 3 and unselect these other two. OK, good. So we have created our virtual aspect and we can manually alter its state by clicking on it and see that that state is displayed on the switchboard. Next, we need to create an action that increments the state of the aspect every time a particular train enters a particular block, thus counting how many times the train has entered the block. When the count reaches 3, an action will be performed. And that is the subject of the next tutorial. 
Hope to see you then. I'm Bob Fuller. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.